Greens family, Bomani Tambe here, family and family. We're here at our Black Star Pan African community land. And what I want to let you know behind us is plot number 29, the concrete house, and plot number 28, the Ram, out, Ram Earth home. Those are the two homes, the second and third homes coming up. And it, they're both almost finished. So I wanted to let everyone know that this project is growing. And once you have your survey paperwork, you can start. You're looking at the roads, uh, you see the, the water and everything. So we're going to have to work on organized systems for drainage and many things. But what I want everybody to understand that is one of those things where when you start this project, you, you know, it's an all hands on deck project not just people putting their money in and things like that. No, we have to come up with all the concepts to fix everything and build everything because this is a sustainable project. So we're literally going to just make things work in nature and we're going to also just make sure that we don't just cut down all of the trees and then you know, make it look like a concrete jungle. We can't, ex we can't do those kind of things. So we want to preserve the nature of it as best as possible. But there's a few things as you've seen in the background that we're going to be working on. The next thing is we're going to work out is to clear the land again completely and reorganize the plot so we can see it. So these things will be set for December so we get a better presentation. It's the rainy season, so you know, once it starts raining, things are growing. Brother Azebo, anyone like to share anything? But just give you a close up. So, so these two homes also represent two of the builders that we have. And as more and more people show interest, we have more and more builders that's ready to come aboard the project and make it work. So family, I uh, just want my brother to just give a nice little flow of this. Just turn around so you can see a, the full scope of the entire area. And all you see is greenery and greenery. And that tells you one thing, one of the main things we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be planting everything that we need. Example, like right here in this beautiful home, you know, you plant one or two mango trees and you plant certain things. So one of the things is you have to have you make sure your builders do is make sure your builders don't be running any kind of crazy underground pipes and things. Or if you do, you have to make sure that it's sequenced into where you still can plant your trees. The most important thing that we do when we clear land is we plant back trees and make it look and keep it in nature. I've seen a lot of developments to where you, you know, the whole compound or estate is just all concrete. If we keep on going like that, we're going to be crazy like them people in New York City. You know, they literally have a concrete jungle and one, well, it's a big park, Central Park in the middle, but everything else is all concrete. Uh, so, family, that's what we're looking to do, sustainable to the highest level. And the good thing about this area is rain. So, since it rains a lot, all these setups that we have, you know, you have to work your systems in. And I'm telling people, most of us grew up in a society where everything is built and designed and it's all on the grid. You know, so you may not see the beauty of this nature. You can literally set things up to where you don't have these situations, trenches, underground tanks, um, sust uh, sustainable water system to where once it rains from your roof, you know, you channel it in an underground tank and you're literally pumping the water back into your home. And also you can build your, build, build your own storage reservoir to where, you know, when water flows, it flows to where you can contain it. So these are all things that scientifically we're going to be studying and learning and we have a great example and one of our great um, property and, and project uh, developer, Craig Norman, we visited him yesterday. You know, he's a good friend of mine and you know, he's always going to be one of the people that's going to help us with uh, how we're going to plan things out. So just still, family, showing you what we have in its raw stage. Yes, it's two and a half years since uh, we first, um, you know, first committed to the land and everything. But the most important thing is our paperwork is good. The last thing that we need to do is final registration. So we're waiting for the Lands Commission to come back out to relook over the 15 acres, update that search, and also do it on the 60 acres. And then we'll start making sure we just get the payments in and get the land uh, registered. Uh, so we still have a few plots and we also have a whole lot more in 60 acres. So just letting everyone know that if you're interested, all you have to do is just uh, reach out to us. Uh, our details are available on our website, africaforafricans.org. And I'm always telling everyone, once you get on the website, just click on the Black Star link and you'll see all the details. But, and the most important thing is, once you look through the information, send me an email and I will send you all the details and we'll go through it together. And we have conference calls and all those things throughout the year. So we, we can always connect you with more information. My brother Azebo, come on, come on through. So perfect, you've been here since both of these homes was 
This is the foundation. That's right, brother. Since day one. Huh? And uh, they, there's been consistency throughout the whole project. Um, uh, brother Welbeck is a very outstanding engineer uh, putting together this rammed earth. Uh, Ram, Ram earth, which, uh, which is, is the, the roundhouse on the right. The roundhouse. And also, at the same time, sticking with the uh, African tradition. I don't know if Africa has a certain style of architecture. Yeah, Ram Earth is our, but, our technology. You know, right, it's That's technology and it's natural, straight out of nature. And uh, the, house had, the house itself holds a certain amount of uh, organic energy that's, that's unparalleled to any uh, house uh, that I've ever been in. And it's a lot cooler. It, it's you a see lot the cooler uh, because it's done with, uh, with, ramp, with the earth of the ground. And uh, it's, they, they call it passive heating and cooling. Needs no uh, 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 heating, needs no cooling. The, the house cools and heats itself. And that's perfect. So, fam, what we're showing you is two ops, two a few options. And so when you when you think about what you're gonna do, now you have to think about like right now it's hot. How, how you feel? It's hot, right? Hot as hell. All right. So, perfect. So how is it gonna feel in the con in a concrete house? So, what is the proper name? We call concrete brick. Uh, you you would call you would call that traditional uh, Western style. Um, <laughs> I, love uh, I love the terminology. Concrete. What would you call it? Traditional Western style. You'd have to put an AC house. inside of this that one. That is a typical Northern house. In Northern Ghana, because of the climate, because the weather mm -hmm. is hot, and therefore they build these ha round houses for air to circulate with the earth. So, in other words, in Ghana we we'll call it at the Kwame. It's a traditional home. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm, the, I'm talking about the square house. The four house. square house. Yeah. Oh, okay. The four square house is normally built in southern Ghana. And also, it built because, uh, like this four square, in a traditional home, it will be for a family. If I talk about family, I'm not talking about mother and father. I'm talking about uh, grandfather, grandmother, everybody. So in it, we share it. So it's four square. Whilst in the north, we build around houses so that it will fit the weather and it will help circulate so the air, air in yeah, the heating, house yeah. so that it will be cool. So when you sleep in the earth house, you don't need much fan or air condition, right. especially in northern Ghana. So you, but because it's in the south, in the north, we put thatch. Thatch roof, that? okay, thatch roof, like oh. the... Thatch roof, uh, like it's the grass. Like, like, it's like, oh. We like, call like, it like elephant grass. Okay. It looks like you know, straw. They use right. the elephant grass right. to roof it, and it takes about two to three years before you change it. Right. Yes, and that helps it to... Um, cure. Yes. It cures. And then all... Listen, the, yes. the earth ram houses, yes. can you make them story? Yes, you can. You can make it story. Yes, when you go to, when you go yeah. to uh, Grushi area, that is uh, between Upper East and Burkina Faso, they build this ha round houses. Round house. And then you can see story building, yes. They do it and they put in some fittings. Is it cheaper to build than regular concrete house? Yes. It is. How yes. Much cheaper? Wow. 10, it's 20, cheaper. Thirty percent cheaper construction. Yeah, it's, it's way cheaper than yeah. but because building this, a square house. Yes, than building the square house because that way you need and, you need and it's you need cement. The center block. You need so you don't use you don't use cement with this house. No, no it's just it, ram earth. It's earth that's compressed together. Typically. The earth house. And is it strong as the concrete house, one? As we no, call I don't it. think so. Strong, but strong, we don't, we don't have this in Jamaica now. Know. Yeah. Because Typically, you just the, you look for where clay is. You look around and you see where the clay is. That's you right. go and dig. dig. And after you dig, dig, you get to the clay. You get to that right. type of clay. Right. Now, the one who is going to do it will put it together and just pour water and, it up. and use his feet right. and mash it up. And after they mold it, that's the traditional way. They mold it. After molding it, then they put it add one a little after bit the of other. concrete, a yeah. little bit. In the olden days, they don't add any concrete. They just wait for it to dry. They put it on, and then after drying a little bit, they use water to sprinkle right. on it. And then, after using the water to sprinkle on it, they use the same clay to smooth it out. 
Right. Are we allowed to go into it? Oh, we're going to definitely go into both oh. of them. Oh, <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. That, but I wanted that, to just that, have this dialogue, which is a very, yeah. hold on, which is a very, this, this man is sharp and, and yeah, in the yeah, science. Yeah, yeah. We appreciate you just sharing that about the Northern. The reason I'm sharing this is because those of us come from the U.S., you know, you're used to that. The this, four square. But we also wanted to just offer options of something more traditional. So yeah. that's why you see these two homes. And then we're going to yeah. go to the first one was built, which is just complete this is, yeah, and things like that. Uh, so, family, we're just trying to educate you on options because you're dealing with a, a consistent climate. Uh, let me give a range, and your range may be different. It's probably about 70 to 90 degrees all year round, mm -hmm. which basically means, family, you're in a, you know, you're in a warm, hot climate. So you're going to have to think about what you're going to do with air condition and things like that, or if you just want to run fans. Uh, the Ramar at home, you can get away with running, uh, using fans, but I doubt you can get away with using house under center block homes yeah, uh, because of the compressed heat One and things thing. like that. So, yeah, if you're going to build a home like that, you definitely want to make sure you have a good air conditioning system and fans. So these are the things that we're just sharing. Okay. All right. The um, Earth Ram home, sure does it have to be circular? No. No, because our letter and Carmen is not circular. No. Okay. So they, I don't really so, like a circular home now. <laughs> I prefer more of a, a square home. Well, people are used to what they're used to, but yeah, we're just showing no, people uh, what, what's yeah. available. Just so long as there's an option okay. not to have it it's circular. Not, with, with, yeah. We also yeah. in the south. Use the earth uh, clay to build four square houses. That is in the rural Ghana, in southern Ghana, you can have four square houses with clay, with the same thing. But this, any traditional Ghanaian sea knows that this is a northern style of building. Any traditional Ghanaian sea this knows this is southern type of building. Okay. But they still use the clay to build four square houses, mm -hmm. yes. So I take it this house probably costs a lot less than this one costs to build. Um, we, um, yeah. It's uh, close, uh, as far as the figures I've been told, I can't share that with everyone also directly, but it was close. He is building a modern one, so he might add some chemicals to it, not like that the traditional Ghanaian going just want a house to build. But this man maybe wants something more so he might yeah. add some yeah. chemicals yeah. to the clay. Yeah, add some new technologies to it for yeah. it to right. be more. He said, he said seven percent concrete. Uh huh. 7%. Yeah, so, so the range is about the, the same, same family, uh, whichever way, but yeah. the main some thing is it's about the heating it. situation. Yeah. To, to hold it together. But what we're going to do, family, we're going to close on this it. segment, and uh, what we're going to do is uh, show you another view when we get closer to each individual home. So, family, we have Black South Pan African community. The journey continues.